This is a video of a mid-aged Appaloosa mare from the west coast that was sent to us. Uh, she was put on EQ+. She's got a long-term history of navicular disease. Um, here in this video, we are looking at her from a pre-standpoint. So before taking Curost, you can see her here at the walk. She's got a very short forward or anterior stride in the front limbs uh, due to her not wanting to put much weight on the heels. Back legs are posting a little bit more, a little bit stiff as well. Um, at times, she seems a little reluctant to move forward, uh, pulling on the lead rope. And here you're going to see her in a turn. She's shifting the weight to the rear, almost pivoting on that left rear to try to keep weight off at the front. And here at the jog, you can see she's got a tight lead rope, not really willing to move forward. Short anterior stride in the front legs, very stiff in the back as well. And here she is two weeks post Curost. I believe she was taking an EQ Plus supplement. Um, here again, we're at the walk. Lead rope's not as tight. She seems to be a little bit more willing to move forward. Um, a uh, better forward stride in the front legs, not as stiff in the rear. Uh, she's reaching out much better in the front. And there at the turn, she's still pivoting a little bit on the rear, not as bad. Here at the jog, she's definitely reaching out much better in the front legs. Uh, more willing to move forward, not as stiff in the rear, so she seems to be much comfortable, much more comfortable. So given her long-term history of navicular disease there over the past two weeks using EQ Plus supplement, she seems to be doing much better and there's been no medications involved with her and the owners are very happy.